Hi there and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at how to develop an idea. So what we're going to put on our slideshows and how we're going to show the development process. This is perfect for GCSE art, photography or even graphics. Okay, have a look at how I've done it and get some ideas. First slide we need to do is sort of put some context to our idea. I've been looking at an artist called Rio Awada. I've done a video to show you how to do this. It's that tessellated effect. I've done a few bits of work on it. And I'm also really interested in roses, and I'm really interested in this sort of close-up image of a rose, sort of macro photography. So I think it'd be an interesting way to explore doing some of these tessellated images. So first of all, I made a video of how I made my tessellated image, and you can watch that on my channel, Quentin Cup to Nature of Flowers. And once I had made the video, I was left with some results. The first version looked like this, I quite liked it. And if I was doing my development for a GCSE, I'd annotate here exactly what I didn't like about it. And then I did a different version where I switched the order of the arrangements around. I did four different versions in the red color. And you can see there are the other two versions here. And I did a comparison slide here where I put all four together and I can look at them and decide which one I think works better to develop further into my next idea. I then thought about making it into a repeat pattern, and that is another way of taking one idea and to develop it further. And then you can see that in the repeat pattern, we've actually got some of the other ideas are all sort of showing up inside it. I then put a screenshot in to explain how I made my idea. This is similar to what you would do when you do an artist research or an edit. You'd explain using a screenshot of Photoshop what you've done and how you've done it. Then I decided that it might look better if I changed the shape. So to take a rectangle, I thought it might be more effective if I made it into a square. So I experimented with a square. Also experimented with layering up the image so that I had a layer on top of the original image. And I talk about how I did that here. So I made some refinements, added some more layers into my work and refined it that way. Once I'd done that, I decided that that square might actually work more effectively as a repeat pattern. So I refined it further. When I was doing this, I decided that, you know what, it might look good if I made sort of a checkerboard effect and used some black and white in there as well. I ended up with these six squares in this arrangement. I put a screenshot of how I did that there as well. After that, having looked at this, I thought, you know what, that reminds me a bit of a cube. So I decided to investigate making a cube. So I found a net of a cube. I copied and pasted my images into the cube and I explored that as an idea. So there is an example now of how to make a 3D version in Photoshop. And I've explained how I did that there. So this is my 3D mock-up. The next slide, I show you what it would look like as a cube. And I thought, well, this is really interesting. This could be something really exciting. So I experimented doing that as a layout with six of them, which I thought was quite interesting. So I created a piece of art called a triptych by doing this. So this is three things. This is exploring a different way of presenting it. And I explain what a triptych is. It's a work of art divided in three sections and you can put them together. So I thought that'd be a really interesting way to explore my work. Then I went back to the black and white idea. I thought, wouldn't it be cool if the actual box was glowing? So I experimented with that. At this point, I had an idea and I thought, well, hang on, this reminds me a little bit of a Rubik's cube. And I decided to try it out in different colors on it. I'm not sure if I liked it, so I took it through with some of other people. And then I thought, well, do you know what? I'm going to experiment with the colors a bit more. So I came up with this primary and secondary color version, which looked like that. And I was like, mm, that's quite interesting. It might be a bit of a dead end. So I thought about using the color splash technique and experimenting with that. So the black and white and color. So here's my color one. Here's my black and white one. And then I just used bits of it and added color to small bits of it. So using a different technique I've explored already. From that, I put a screenshot in to show how I developed that. I then tried out a different version of Color Splash with different bits colored in. And I then came to the last slide where I thought, you know what, I might try it out with a different color. So I did a different color raise and it ended up being put together into a final piece, which you've probably seen, which is my reflections on a raise, which is a little animation where I have all of these slides coming together. Okay, so there are approximately 28 slides of development from one idea, which originates here, 
and I then explore it and explore it and try things out. That is the point of development. That is what we as artists and designers do for a living is we experiment and we refine and modify our ideas. So no matter which idea you are doing, make sure you try it in different ways. Obvious things like black and white and color, different color schemes, different shapes, all these things can be explored whichever design you are looking at. So have fun creating, have fun designing your ideas. And once you've got an idea you're happy with, obviously make it up into a final piece or a response or final response. Thank you very much for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to check out Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers, where you'll see all the other videos that I've made. There is a whole playlist about GCSE photography help. You can see how you can do artist research, combine artist research, make contact sheets, create initial ideas, all the different things that you need to succeed in photography. Okay, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.